Hello my fellow Lakers, newcomers, and passerbyers, and welcome back to some more Scum Leaks. We are on Tommy's page, he's a co-founder and creative director at Game Pyres, and his link to his Twitter page is down below. Also, my link and my Twitter page is also down below. I don't post a lot of things on my Twitter page, but I do post videos here on YouTube, and I'd like to thank you guys for helping me get to 200 subscribers. That is pretty cool, and uh, you guys definitely deserve a thank you. So, let me go ahead and continue rolling on though because i know you guys really want to talk about is this new storyboard or city concepts that we have going on here for scum so we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this piece by piece and we're going to start in the top left corner uh right here we have a city obviously uh you have a very tall building here in the background and then here in the foreground you have a man in a cape Yes, he is wearing a cape. I guess capes are in, are, are in in the future. It's just a thing. And what it looks to be next to him was probably some kind of trash machine. Um, and that's the conclusion that I've kind of came to. I don't know what the thing is laying on the ground, but the vehicle, as you can see here, it kind of looks like it's trying to pick up this object right behind it which may hold trash. So it might be a trash machine. Plus, you know, you, you get those like those like scenes in like movies and on TV and you know for shows and in video games uh, where you have a city and there's always some kind of trash machine. Um, my guess is this trash machine is probably ran by a robot. I don't think it's run by an actual person and it looks uh, very small as well. As you can see this person is actually the same size as this vehicle. So I can't imagine him sitting inside that vehicle and driving off. It's just not something that I, I see happening. So, yeah, but that's that's basically the whole first thing. You see the road right here. There's nothing really else to this picture, as far as I can see. Um, I mean, it's really hard to actually read what's going on. But So we're going to go ahead to the top right picture over here. This one has some very interesting drawings in it. Um, as you can see, you know, it's the city again, blah, blah, blah. You have the road down below. And then you looked over to the right, and there's this plane. It looks like a plane, but it has a flat face in front of it. But as you can see, it has this drawbridge down. Now you can also see this as a tent. I don't think it's a tent. I'm pretty sure it's a plane. As you can see, it also has these circles on the wings, which if you notice, if you go to the left picture, once again, uh, the top left one, you'll also see the circles on the side of the of the garbage machine. I'm just gonna call it the garbage machine because I don't know what it actually is. Um, and I think these are cameras. I think these are robotic cameras. And I think that's what those are. So on this plane, it also has them on the wings. Now, you, if you look in the background, you'll also see another plane flying off. It's kind of like, it's kind of drawn like a blob, but you know, it's you know, it's another plane flying off. It's the same same thing. I, I can connect the dots. You know what I mean? So they could probably use this for transport. You could probably transport a person or maybe cargo, but I can't see it. I, uh, yeah. I don't know if a person will be able to fit in there. I, I also think it's another robot thing. So let's go ahead and move to the bottom left picture, which shows a more interesting scene. This one seems to have a lot more people, and they're all lined up to go into this building right here. And there's also some machine like jutting outside of the building and it has like some kind of bar going down. I don't know if it's just some fancy light or something like that. It, it could be, you know, it could be like one of those, uh, what do you call them? Neon signs, but I don't know. It, but you have all these people, they're all lined up. They're all going inside this building. And then you also have a car as you can see the vehicle. They're very slim. So it looks like you kind of like, you kind of lay down in them to be honest. That's kind of what it looks like. Because again, it's, it's like a fast sports car looking type vehicle. It's just the way it is. Um, I guess, you know, maybe they do jump in smaller vehicles. So maybe that isn't the, these planes and these garbage trucks aren't ran by bots, but they're ran by people. But I think they're ran by bots. Um, even this vehicle right here, this car, I think you just sit in and it probably drives itself most of the time. But as you can see, it also goes off into like a tunnel little thing. There's a building in the background. I think that's a tunnel. Um, and yeah, so that's that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and go to the right side over here. And the bottom right, you can see flying vehicles. Yeah, these are all flying vehicles. Um, you can tell they're flying vehicles because they look like vehicles. 
first off. And second off, you can see the buildings extending below. Below the flying vehicles. So below the, the road, the sky road, as you can call it. Um, and that's, that's that's basically all you can really really notice. I think that there's on the top right corner right here of the bottom bottom right picture, you can probably see a man. I don't know, look kind of looks like a stick figure. That might be a man, and that might be like some kind of crane thing or something. Maybe he's over watching something. I don't know. It could be anything. But yeah, so that's that's basically all four of these pictures. Now, let's go ahead and talk about something right now. All right, what do these pictures mean? Right? Are they are they going to be in the game? No, but straight, straight up, I'm going to tell you, these are probably not what you're going to see in game. Um, and not, uh, sorry, sorry, you'll probably see it in game, but you won't see it, you won't be able to play it. Uh, this isn't Cyberpunk 2077, which is out, guys, and you guys should check that game out, it looks pretty interesting to me. I don't have it personally, but my PC wouldn't run it anyways. Um... But it has that cyberpunk-esque look to it, and it just doesn't fit Scum. It doesn't fit Scum's uh, prison world. Now, it could fit its outside world perfectly fine, right? But you're in the prison world. So you might see cities, like like the city, actual city, be updated, and it might have this look to it. Um, but you, and you might see some rundown, like drone planes or something, or, you know, something, vehicles maybe, that are more updated. But I don't think you'll 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 be able to play, you know, in a in a live city where things are like rustling and bustling. There's not gonna be a bunch of AI walking around you. Like like that's just not gonna happen. And you're not gonna see it. You're just not gonna see it. Um, but what we do have currently is is basically can be upgraded to this. You know what I mean? The the, the towers and the buildings, the cables running you know between them um everything could be updated uh you, you might see more robotic cars the cars might get a revamp and be more slimmed down um they won't look like modern day cars anymore maybe uh you might see people you might see different clothing styles in the game uh you know that are that aren't as modern anymore and you'll start seeing them look a little more futuresque uh, as you can call it, uh, maybe, or maybe you won't, you know, maybe everything will basically stay the same. I don't think so, because it doesn't fit, but I don't know, maybe, maybe the Croatia during that time is probably a poor, like, area, and maybe it is just modern day technology, because it's so poor, and maybe this is more of a rich city type thing, but, um, yeah, that's, that's what I think, but what you're seeing here, let's get down to the brass, brass tax or something, I don't know. Let's get down to the freaking the nail, okay? Right here, what you're seeing is some kind of storyboard, and I think this is probably some kind of promotion thing that you're gonna see for the game uh, in the future. It could be an ad. It could it could even be on your TV screen. They might have the Scum TVs actually working, and this is what you might see. You might end up, you know, you could you could probably like I don't know walk into a house and the TV you could turn on the TV and you'll see ads uh, ads for scum and you'll see like the city hustling and bustling and stuff like that um, or you know cutscenes because this is a story like game yeah, guys there is a story mode to this game just letting you know there is a story to this game so all this stuff all this stuff is very very important and you're probably going to see it I'm just saying, you're, you're probably going to see a lot of this stuff, but you won't see it. You won't be able to play it um, in that way. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not, like I said, it's not Cyberpunk 2077. You're not playing as a character in a city that's full of people. No, you're playing as a prisoner on an island. And so the technology is going to fit that and it's going to look like that. You know what I mean? Um, everything's going to be broken down, more run down. So it might be like, it might be, maybe it might be a more apocalyptic look at this. Of all this, just more apocalyptic looking. Um, but flying things in the game might be a thing one day. Like, geez, it's, it's just amazing. But this definitely looks like the game's probably gonna get a revamp. It, it probably is going to get a revamp eventually before point one. You will prob, or maybe even after point one. No, no, no. Before point one. 
you're going to see a major revamp in the textures of the houses, the textures of the buildings, the textures in the towns. Um, you're probably going to see you know, more billboards. You're probably going to see more futuristic looking things. And the thing is, they might not even like change the actual buildings, but they might just add on to them you know, to make them look a little more futuristic, because that's technically all they have to do, like the city, those are just plain buildings, right? And all they have to do to make them look a little bit more futuristic is put some light up neon signs on that sucker, put some more metal vents on them, um, make everything big and broad and shiny and light. Uh, but obviously in the broken down city, there's probably gonna be more like, all that stuff but like reversed where it's gonna be all that stuff in it but it's all gonna be damaged broken smoking you know stuff like that um flickering you know but uh i could definitely see that a flying car is just sitting on the thing uh, a lot of these i think i think a lot of these are droids i think i think a lot of these are just just uh robots um so you might see a lot of robot vehicles broken down a lot of century like planes crashed you know you'll probably see a lot of that and the only the only place that you'll probably see some active futuresque looking things is probably in the new map and and then those new new um what do you call it uh the new locations that they have so like the windmill that they talked about having where they held all the power you might see people that might be something you might be able to go and control or maybe not you know maybe maybe the island's completely left up to the prisoners except for maybe a few tech one personnel um but i don't know i, I guess we'll see i mean it could be literally anything i mean this this storyboard it just blows my mind it could literally mean anything and we don't even know what it can mean we have no clue but it can mean legit anything for this game it, it's a total game changer um doesn't mean anything you know it could just be outside the island you might never see it but yeah that's all i have for you guys today that's all i really wanted to talk about um it's it's, it's pretty cool but uh again thank you guys for your your, subs your subscriptions and your likes and all the views that you guys have been giving me lately um i don't mind if you guys don't subscribe but i, I love it when you guys do so if you, if you guys do and you guys we get to 300 heck yeah if we get to like 500 yeah, that's i'll be even more happy if we get to a thousand then hell like dude you guys are awesome like it's just pure like i can't thank you guys enough for it because i love doing this stuff and i would love to do this every day this would be something that i would love to do every day um it's just it's, it's nice it's, it's nice it's calming and it's fun you know uh other than that though that, that's all i have for you guys today so I hope you guys enjoy your day, and uh, I'm out.